Hello, 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 everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. I am pretty drugged up on pain medication right now due to surgery on Monday. I couldn't even remember what day the surgery was for a second there. And I have my bestie, Smokey, in chat with me. You guys hello, hello. Should be able to hear her, too. And we are going to do a couple of tours today. Neither Smokey nor I managed to get our builds finished for this. They may show oh. up at a later date, and they may not show up at a later date. We'll Life see. happens. <laughs> well, yeah. We, we tried. We put in the E for effort. <laughs> yes. In fact, I can even show you the, the mess I made of the lot that um, I like at the end of the stream today. I'll show you the mess I made while trying to build mine. Okay. <laughs> Sounds but, good. <laughs> um, so I figure we'll probably do bananas first because they turned theirs in first, and they did Sims of Catan. Oh, the board game Settlers of Catan, wood for sheep, not included. And I have to say, it looks amazing. So we are going to plop that here because it will fit. And it's a generic on the gallery, so we will continue that. Oh, look at this. Banana is so, so stinking creative. Let's put all the walls up. And then we can try yes, to figure out how to get give in. They always give a good build. Oh, look always. at this. Let me get rid of the grid. And we'll just zoom in. Oh my goodness, look at the sheepies. Oh, that is brilliant. I would not have thought of doing that. Oh, look. that's adorable. <laughs> this also, is... hi, sweet pea. <laughs> yes, hi, sweet pea. I love the hay on the boat. That was a good idea. But look at the sheepies in here. Let's see if we can look down from above. We got the little sheepies just hanging out. I'm not sure exactly how to look at this one, but I think we can look at it from above for a lot of it. We also have a little treasure chest over here. We've got an archaeology bench in there. And we have a fox who ran off with an ATM. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> so brilliant. Oh, what else does he have in here? Oh, he has a package, too. A very chewed up package. I mean, well, he is a fox. But yeah, he's yes, got a little foxes package. Do like to chew. He's got a little package sitting in the dirt. He's like, I stole it, and I'm not taking it back. We've got is another... that a bunch of wool that is making up the like carpeting or the flooring in that room? I think it because it looks like a bunch be... of separate piles oh. of uh, creative genius there. <laughs> it's those it's are the texture. sandy mounds. Oh, sandy mounds. Okay. It was a really good idea, though, and I love the, the bricking on the bottom for these. Yeah, it looks very fluffy. It does look fluffy. What else is... What is this? And then we have a whole... Oh. We have package. Uh, mountain. Oh, that's the robber's gear in black. That's his package. He's got his... <laughs> he's got his uh, outfit sitting in front of him just so he can go stealing. This is Love some it. seriously nice terrain work, I've got to say. Absolutely. And we have a sheep on a boat. Some more archaeology stuff. What's in here? We have hay. Oh, look at this! We have the whole little farm thing. We've got the farming implements on the wall. We've got a hay wagon and a... Uh... Oh, the, the, the truck. Shrunk down. The truck. That's <laughs> the word I was looking for. And we have a Gravity Works sound effect. Thank you, Crypt. Crypt! Hello, oh, hello, hello, dear. 
Banana did a really good job on the rock work in this. Absolutely. To manage to fit it into each of these little places. Yeah. Oh, and then we have They're the... They're almost uh, like separate little, like, dioramas. Yeah, they really are. And look at the ones with the with the forest trees and stuff. Of course, the trees disappear, but... Look at this! That was a great idea for this particular, um... Wallpaper. Yes. And we've got another... Oh, here's another wood here. That's a really good idea. To match I those with the, uh... <laughs> the tree wallpaper. The tree Which wallpaper. Which I love that wallpaper. I and do it's too. very hard to, like, fit into a place and have it look... Have it look really good, like yeah. yeah. Like it's supposed to be there. I have managed it a couple of times, but only a couple of times. But this is an amazing representation of the game. I'm really not sure how they managed to get this so good. I love the robber fox, so that's my favorite part. That is absolutely my favorite part of the entire thing. It's the fox with his outfit. <laughs> I think I have to go for the sheep. You have to go for the, the sheep. sheep. Just, yep. <laughs> they are awfully cute. They're just so cute. I can't believe us. They can't believe that they gave us a chair that's a sheep, and it fits so perfectly into this. You know. Yeah. It reminds me of like um, Fisher Price farm animals or something like that. I remember looking playing at, with those. Looking at them. Yes. That oh, Fisher yeah. Price farm that when you opened up the side or the the front door it moved. Mer. Exactly. Like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I remember that quite vividly. That my favorite thing to do with that uh, barn was open, open the, the doors. doors. I opened the door so many times that my moo stopped working. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> I'm still a bit salty over that. <laughs> I think I may have been the one who opened the opened and closed it the most at my grandfather's house, but the moo was still working, which is kind of amazing because as I've mentioned, my dad had 12 brothers and sisters. And he was the third youngest, and most of the other ones had a lot of kids. So there were a lot of grandkids coming in and out of that house all the time. So that thing took some beatings. We'll just say that. But we have our little Fisher Price. <laughs> Fisher Price thing. <laughs> Look at the. Even the uh, wallpaper is perfect. With yes. The little butterflies. Absolutely. And yes, Crypt, I'm I'm very happy now. And a bit, yes. <laughs> a bit? Just a little bit. A bit? Just, Just a, little, a bit. little bit. Oh, this is such an excellent build. I am definitely going to leave this a heart. And a comment. For sure. As soon as I decide to get back into the game of Sims... <laughs> Just taking a bit of a break right now. Um, Sometimes I will definitely do the same. Yes. Sometimes they're just necessary. There we go. And the other one will actually fit quite well in... Not on this lot, though. I need to move out of this lot. There is a 20 of a 20 in Tomerang as well for that. So I figured we might as well just put that one there too. Absolutely. And we've got Kev's Shoots and Ladders, which is a game that I don't remember playing a whole lot. I remember the game, but I don't think I actually played it a huge amount. And of course, this is a Kev build, so this is going to be amazing. Yes, absolutely. In fact, before we even do this, look at the support system that he has put together for underneath this. A true architect. <laughs> yeah, he had to put in... Love that. He had to put in a support structure for this. And I believe these are just the doggy 
tunnels. Yes, those are the dog tunnels for the dog Just training absolutely from cats tools. and dogs. And then we have a hot tub because Kev. Yes. Yes, so we're going to go up here and we're going to take a look. It might be zoomy, hopefully not, but we'll see. I think this is the front entrance. It comes up to this. Oh, and goes streaking through the... And shorts through the chat. <laughs> Yay! Oh, look at the little lights next to the door. All the plants on the roof. Oh, Kevin, Kev's signature, three lights by the door. Yes, he does <laughs> like to do that. And three plants, too. We've got three plants. Oh, yes. Yes. And we have a grill back here. And the opening to... <laughs> The uh, slide of doom because you can't see through it. It looks like one of those slides on a. On there a were playground. four lights. <laughs> there were four lights. Hey, Crypt. <laughs> He's so funny, Crypt. Technically, there is a fourth light. It's right here. It's above the uh, grill. But look at the. Oh, that's good. Then we can see to cook at night. Look at the little um. Oh, what are those called? Corbels? Underneath yes. the roof that he put together? Because he has a flat roof, and then he has a another higher roof up. And he put corbels under the whole thing. I That's love attention that to detail. That's so smart. It is. And look at this. How cozy is this? I would absolutely visit this place. Got a little fireplace. That picture oh, on the can... wall is actually a TV. Yeah, we can relax in bed and watch the TV. And oh, look yeah. at the view out the, the window. <laughs> I'm sure Kev had a different view, but that's a great view, too. True. Because when he built it, we didn't have Tomerang, so... I just thought it might be a nice place to put it. But look at this little seating area. A little kitchen. Oh, I'm definitely going to set this up as a rental. Oh, yeah. Whether absolutely. Whether it's shoots and ladders or not, it's absolutely amazing. Look at the inset uh, lights above the uh, counters. Oh, perfect. They're actually inset into the ceiling. And all the kitchen clutter items. Oh, Get of all course. our plates and plenty of coffee cups. Kev is so good at making things look lived in. And then we yes. have some hanging plants. Without ever being cluttered. No, it never looks overly done. No. I love the fact that we can see the tree through the slats. That is really oh, yes, quite that's, cool. That's good. I like that. And we have... He managed to tool these wall sconces. Look at their... They're tipped. Oh wow! The inside. So they're. It would are take actually, me three years to do that. I would never. And be I able still to, wouldn't. I wouldn't. Get it right. would try to snap to the wall. You would have to do it without the walls there. Yeah. And then I'm guessing this is the bathroom. Oh look at this! This is luscious. We've got a gorgeous sink, some towels and some robes. Wait till you see this. Shower. I'm moving in. Um, Kev's favorite toilet, the prison toilet. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why that toilet is his favorite, but it is. It absolutely because is. Because he doesn't see the use for having a big, tall tank behind the toilet. It doesn't really serve any yep. purpose. So that's why yes, he doesn't like it. Yes, very true. But he's got his favorite um, shower eucalyptus plant in here, too. Yes. Even though I'm not sure that that's actually a eucalyptus plant, but we'll let it go. Yeah, that's what we always call it in the game. <laughs> Just because Kev has decided it is eucalyptus, <laughs> yep. it is now eucalyptus. Yeah. But, yeah, I am super impressed I love with this. the, um... He's the so transom, good at tiny homes. The transom window above the uh, door going into the bathroom. Yes. The little bitty window up here. Gives it a little bit of light. <laughs> and the... Uh, Installs a tank on all of this person's toilets. 
Yeah, Kev would not be happy about that. He would cry. He would cry, probably. No, he really wouldn't. He'd probably giggle and say, oh, okay, well, thank I... you for that, and then take him back out. <laughs> yeah, he would put the prison toilet back in. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Look at the landscaping on this, though. He is second to none on landscaping. And all the... And here we can see how the supports actually look like they're working. Oh, I love that. It is so good. And he is so skilled at tiny homes. He's welcome to take it up in person. Your customer service line is out of order. I appreciate <laughs> that. We'll have his people contact your people, Crypt. That sounds like a good idea. But yeah, look at this. It's just so wild and pretty, and there's actually terrain work done in there as well. Which is kind of mind-boggling, because he did a tiny home, and then he did terrain work too. Above and beyond. You have people? Since when? Yeah. <laughs> well, I figure if you have a customer service line, of course you have people. Maybe they're the little um, Fisher Price people. Remember the ones that <laughs> came with the farm? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Especially that angry kid with the red hat. Yes. <laughs> and then the farmer with the little cowboy hat always got lost. We could oh, never yeah. find the farmer. Like the little kids we could always find, but the farmer never was always missing. Didn't the farmer, wasn't he one of the Fisher Price characters that actually had like arms, but they really weren't arms? They were just little flat pieces of plastic that came off of them? Or no, was they, that a were different... like, they were like stuck to the body. They didn't okay. come off. But he looked like he had arms. Okay. I can't believe he went to all this trouble to tool this silly slide. And he did it so well. It actually looks like it should work, you know? Yes, absolutely. Well, and they won't give us the um, those slides that come with the treehouse. Um, to use for anything We else. can't use them, no matter what. <laughs> Which is kind of ridiculous. Unless it's Come attached on. to a treehouse. Right. I discovered and then... something. The other day, I uploaded... Like I was testing a build for my friend Violet. In which I had built a treehouse and I had it fully upgraded. I uploaded it and they were like, well, it won't upload that way. It did. Right. It did? She really? downloaded the lot with a fully complete treehouse. I don't know whether they changed wow. something, but it was absolutely complete. Well, maybe it's reno. maybe it's a glitch that we won't complain about. I would be fine with that. In fact, I can even show oh, you maybe that that's lot. why it's out of order. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have people either, Grip. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. No worries. We'll, we'll not have people together. Let me. My library. Where did I put it? This guy. I'll show you this lot I did for, uh... Since we're out of tours. I'll show you the lot I did for my friend Violet. She built the buildings, but in, had a parking lot in between them. And she wanted to use them for apartments, but she didn't want to use it with the parking lot. She wanted it to be an actual interactive place. And look, I just downloaded this. It's complete. Well, that is awesome. Oh, that's so cool. That makes me very happy. And apparently we now have um, bike, real bike racks, too, so we don't have to use these, yes. these little bollards anymore, which, of course, I didn't know about then. But yeah, see, the, it's completely upgraded. It's got the slide, it's got the lights, it's got everything. I've always used the um, pool ladder. Because it naturally sinks into the ground if you're not putting it onto a pool. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, put a couple of them together. Look at this little pool area. I had fun with this. With all the oh, I love the uh, all the water features and the whale. And I made Orca! This... Yep, the whale bird. Wilbert had to be yep. there. 
But yeah, this is this is her build. It's up on the gallery. I also fixed her stairwells because she thought we were going to get elevators, so she had little bitty stairwells with ladders in it. And I was like, well, that's not going to work because we didn't get elevators. So I right. fixed her stairwells and I put in the trash chutes and the mailboxes as well. And these are just like studio apartments. So you oh, that's could fabulous. split them up into all of the different studios or you could pop out of wall or two and have them work together and it's a super cool little uh build. But yeah, she did all the rest of the building. I just took out the I took out the parking lot in the middle, put the parking lot up front. And I made this little activity center for everybody. And look how cool it is at night. I think oh, it that's lovely. Out really cool. I love the uh, the parking spots. Yeah. Technically, those used to be this fits in here, but I moved them because we didn't need them here anymore. Well, yeah, that was that was my project for last week. <laughs> awesome yeah. good job let me oh that makes me so happy about the tree houses it seems like it works I don't know whether if it was just the fact that I had it all the way upgraded or I what. saw a TikTok today that said that um, people are experiencing issues with the game if they are tenants with the for rent uh, pack oh. that they cannot pay their bills that's weird. so yeah and it seems to be happening with people that have mods or don't have mods um the person that did the tiktok had uh the twisted mexi better exception that was recommended to put in before you put in any other mods because mm -hmm. something broke the script mods with this dlc yes so um they had better exceptions on and when it brought up like they would click on the mailbox and it would bring stuff up but like it said header header at one one place it just had a bunch of w's and then it said the daily rent was supposed to be 300 something dollars and then they owed seven thousand something and immediately had their um, power shut off and That's and they hadn't weird. even gotten mail yet <laughs> it's like how can we owe this much money we haven't even gotten our mail how can this be late in paying our bills <laughs> yeah that's a little weird yeah but this is my the beginnings of my monopoly build and as you can see I uh, may have gone a little extra this is start this is where the go is and then we've got Baltic and Mediterranean and I was going to build a house. I love the railroad tracks going crisscross across the board. That is awesome. And then I was going to have each one of these be a road to a little house. And each one mm -hmm. be a different like style of house. Like craftsman, Victorian, that sort of thing. And then we have the potion ones. This was where the jail goes. There's the electric company there. And then we have free parking. Community chest, of course. Oh, and this is income tax. Because that looked about right. This yes. this was for the luxury tax sport space. And then the uh, go directly to jail is a tragic clown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. I love but that. I started it, and it still seems like a really good idea, but I don't know when or if I'll ever get it done. Yeah. Because yeah. that's same with my project. It's like I I decided to do the uh, Candyland board from when I was a kid and played it. So, from the 70s. Oof. Um and yeah, very simplified. Boy, Candyland has certainly changed over the decades. 
Yeah. Now it's got castles and hills and. <laughs> it's become <laughs> all sorts quite a of thing. extras. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that was that was my idea for Monopoly. Love it. And if someday soon, maybe <laughs> <laughs> we will be touring both of ours. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Maybe when Smokey's not taking a hiatus off of Sims, which is absolutely okay. And I'm not recovering from surgery. Yeah. Because both of those have been taking up all the time. Oh, we aren't busy um, with uh, Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> well, that's true, too. <laughs> and Friday is going to be so much fun with new people joining in on us. Uh, absolutely. We are going to have a ball on Friday. Yeah, we have, we have Retro Lark and Kev are going to join us on Friday. So we're going to have a really good time. And while we are talking about promo stuff... Oh see. yes, promo, promo! Um, my current shell image is this one. I have a trailer park of holidays that I have already started on and am working on. It's got eight trailers, you pick different holidays. However, beyond the trailer park of holidays... Hey Lady Aura! I also have a graphic, a teaser. Thank you for that. Hey, lady. Hi, lady. Hi, uh... lady. Yeah, this is my graphic for next year's shell challenge, which is going to be an entire house done piece by piece each month. Each month you which get a room, and it is based on the I Spy book. So, each room I can show you... Here, let me see if I can... Let me go into properties. Grab this one. This is the one for January. And basically, I will give you a rhyme, an I Spy rhyme. This one is I Spy something sharp in a block, something shiny, and something red. Three small appliances, a black round object, and something to store bread. Two pictures of fruit, a bag of morning wake me up, and a wooden spoon. An alarm, a light on the wall, a place to work while humming a tune. You can either use my rhyme or you can make one of your own. And you fill out the kitchen. Obviously each one will be um, available starting the first of the month. And I have all of them already. They all fit together. And they all fit into this final house. So by the end of the year, everybody will have a house to show for it. And it's going to be a lot Love of fun. That. And every tour will be a treasure hunt to find what your items were. Whether it's the items I suggested and how you interpreted those or whatever you pick. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be so much fun. This is just going to be great. This, this is going to inspire me to get back into the game. <laughs> yes. I can see that. But, and then the first Wednesday of each month is when we will be touring them. And as they're just rooms, it should not take too long to, to do them each month. So I wanted to sort of give everybody a break from all the big shell challenges that we've had lately. Because even this one was a, the, uh, board game one was kind of a big shell challenge. Yeah. Because a lot of us took it and were like, I want to do everything. Right. Right. I'm and then guilty. it's like, oh, there, there isn't this in the game. Oh, well, there isn't this. So how do I do this? <laughs> yeah. I was actually going to shortcut this by using some of the debug buildings in these little squares. Right. But then I was like, but I hate the debug buildings. <laughs> Yeah. So then I was like, Some okay, I'll, pretty... I'll, I'll build them. And then it was like, mm, maybe. And right. then I found out about the surgery and that all went out the window. Well, of course. So. As it, as it needed to. Well, yeah. So. So I were you going to do fun. some building now or? 
I what might you gonna do, girl? Into... Actually, this is the build I needed to do. I'll show you what I have have for my ho holiday trailer park so far. I think that's in this. It is. Oh, awesome. Uh, better UI exceptions? Really? Okay. It just said you can't go in there. It literally just said you can't do that. Now I can. Oh, how strange. But look, I have nothing to go into the lot in. That's weird. But see, I can go into a different lot. I just can't go into that lot. Uh, let me try restarting my game. Sounds good. And if it still doesn't do that... Three stream collabs, two sim DLCs, and a gifted sub to this channel. Aw, thank you, Breeze. All right. And a beer. And a treat. Hi, Breeze! <laughs> Alright. Let's see if this will load up that way. It seems to have been crashing my entire EA. That's interesting. Because it won't even bring up EA anymore. So let me control alt delete on EA. Uh, I will take a soda over a beer as well. Um, yeah, I'll just take a water. Alright, let me see if I can't get the game back up and running. If not, this could be a really short stream. I take, yeah. Because that's weird. If it won't let me into that <laughs> that build, I don't know what to say. Are you even going to load EA now? There it goes. Alright, let's try this. But every time we get a new pack, I'm always very excited. Yay, you know, we're going to get a new pack. Yay, it's going to break everything. And then everything. it's like, oh no, what's it going to break this time? <laughs> Yeah. What new fixes that we've worked out, you know, hot fixes or workarounds, mm -hmm. or we just don't play that because we know it's not going to be good? <laughs> True. They really need um, a uh, minion for um, Sims 4. For what? The... Uh... For the add on, like the add-ons for um, Elder Scrolls. There is one. Is there? Yeah. I don't remember what it is, but I've seen somebody showing it off before. Ah. Well, I'm gonna have to look into that. It'd be nice to have something that just updates your stuff for you instead of having to go in manually do everything. Yeah, it won't let me into there. Let me see what it oh, says for strange. better. Oh, strange! Better UI exceptions, what's it saying? The only thing I can think of is to remove all of the mods. It says it's, yeah, it's Twisted Mexi stuff that's... I think the only way I'll be able to do it is if I pull out my entire mod folder. Which I don't mind doing. So let's do that document. Hopefully it works after that. Because if it doesn't, then it's Sims. Which would be super annoying. Okay, let's take all of this. Well, while Thrall's doing that, um, Thrall's got a uh, new website. The web new website is up and going. Go check it out. They painstakingly went through everything on their old site and transferred it over so you're not missing out on anything. It's got so many wonderful features to it. It's got blogs on it. It's got challenges on it. Check it out. And it was hundreds of hours of work to move everything. It really was. 
and hours of frustration and oh i broke it several to... times yeah and then you fixed it several times so luckily i so, fixed it more so times happy than you i did. broke it now i guess that's the uh that's the uh the finals that you want to have happen right as long right. as you fix it more times than you break it you're okay good you're okay and that was not the button i meant to hit i don't i need agree a sweet new game. the the new site just it's so professional looking and inviting i tried i and user started, friendly yeah i started from literally a blank page and built the entire thing Let's see if i can go in now Okay. Fingers crossed, everybody. If not, I will troubleshoot it and we'll figure out what happened. Let's hop a... Hey, it's letting me go in, so it's one of the mods. Good to know. Alright. Yay! Let's put these up. Let's get some sunshine. And this is what I have so far for my trailer park of holidays. I did Day of the Dead for the community trailer, which is this one. I don't know it's 100% done yet. Love the colors. But this is the one for the Day of the Dead. All the sugar skulls, we've got a happy little piano, place to hang out, watch some TV. We've got the two bathrooms, a bar, a jukebox. And then I added a little porch out here. And then, of course, the bathrooms are fairly self-explanatory. And then the other one that I finished, the <laughs> one across the street... Yeah, the one across the street is going to be Flower Bunny and Easter. Probably closer to Flower Bunny than Easter, and then with I'm gonna, all the eggs. <laughs> with all the eggs, with every all the eggs. one. This one's going to be like a Valentine's Day one, and I bet you can't guess what this one's for. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. That would be for Fourth of July. Pretty close, but yeah. not quite. <laughs> So I put in... Arudia! Little... Hello, hello, oh, dear. Oh, it's good to see you, Arudia. This is the inside. I had a little bit too much fun with this one. This little trailer. Oh, it's adorable. Yeah, it's pretty cute. And then they've got this little seating area to eat. And this adorable kitchen. Look at the kitties up there. And then, of course, I gave him a bathroom, because that's what you do. It's a very nice bathroom, too, actually. Those holes in the walls look so realistic with that wallpaper. That's because that's the wallpaper they were designed with. Yeah. And then in here is the bedroom. That is super cool looking. And of course, I had to put in the Haunted Mansion snow globe. Oh, of course. Because that's where it goes. Yes, and that thing lights up with a lightning strike. It certainly does. Oh. It's pretty cool yes, looking. Yes, and it's. I thought my game was glitching. The first time that I put that into a build, oh, no. and then I went into live mode, and I was like, what is what is going on? What is... Oh, it's lightning! <laughs> Inside a snow globe. <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought I'd, like, Frankenfurnage something, and... Um, yeah, now it actually had some glitching up. going on. It you makes know. noise too. Yeah. But so that's what I have done so far. I think it looks pretty darn cool. And then the other holidays I have picked out, obviously, are Easter, Valentine's Day. I'm gonna do Earth Day for this one with all the plants. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna do Pride Day because we have to have Pride Day. Absolutely. And then we're going to do Christmas over here. And I have not 100% decided. 
but I'm kind of leaning towards doing Kwanzaa for this one. Just because it that would be, be nice. fun to do the colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, have we actually whole... have Kwanzaa, uh, um, Kwanzaa items in the game. It was either that Words or are doing Hanukkah or doing something like Go to the Beach Day. Right. Which is something we would also have stuff for. But that is my current shell challenge. And it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see what everybody's take on all these little trailers are. It is so hard to fit everything into all of these trailers. But strangely enough, there is actually enough room to make a full trailer in each of them. Yeah. So. I love tiny homes anyway. They're so efficient, you know? And being this is just like eight different ones and you can do different holidays for each one you don't have to get too close into any of them it's just yeah. a little bit of a, a toe dip into each of the holidays exactly which is what makes this a really cool challenge and even funnier considering I had this challenge planned a year and a half ago before um, before for rent even came out it is due January 3rd. And here's the graphic again, Sweet Pea. And it is hashtag Holiday Trailer Park 2023. So there's plenty of time to get it done. And then I love that flyer. <laughs> With yeah. the dragon blinking. Is that is that a dragon? Yeah, is that's that from the uh, Chinese New Year. I kind of went hunting for all sorts of different stuff. And then the other thing that will ha be happening starting in January is the very first of Rooms of My I Spy House will come out at the beginning of January. And I do have all of those all set up. All the rooms are different shapes. They have... Um, base game doors and windows where they should so they will fit into the house at the end and so just keep the doors and windows in the same place but you can swap them, them out for different exactly. swatches exactly. or different, different styles and then obviously yep. you can um, adjust things at the very end when you put them all together at the uh, the in the December one but it's going to be super fun. And if you feel so inclined, you are welcome to build, put them together in a different formation than I give you. Awesome. But yeah, it's going to be fun. Oh, you're shy about doing shells? Well, don't ever be shy on my channel because everybody's shell attempts are just as good as the next one because everybody started doing boxes. And it takes practice, is all it takes. Yes. So I appreciate beginner shells as much as I appreciate Kev the Builder's shells and the Masters. I love touring shells of all types. I learn something new from every shell I tour, whether it's a beginner shell or a... Uh, or another one. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this next year with just a room a week. And that way you don't have to build anything. Um, right. You don't have to come up with the floor plan. You don't have to figure out how to put it together at the end. Everything will fit together into a single floor ranch style home. And I have the roofing completely done. And the only and thing that really helps to... out. Yes. Because the roofing have is a pain. Doing shells whenever you're, you know, first first starting out and pretty new to building and whatnot. Um, having a, an actual shell. You know, it's like the first one, January, is going to be a kitchen. So you have your, your shell that you start off with. You know that the doors need to be in a certain place. You know that the windows need to be in a certain place. And, and it's going to be a kitchen. So, you know... Part of the work's already completed for you. Exactly. You know what kind of room you're going to have to make. And then it's just a matter of what colors do you want in it? Do you want it to be modern? Do you want it to be, you know, 
a country kitchen. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. This is something I came up with fairly recently, but I decided I was going to go with it. Just because it'll give me a break from doing major tours every month. And right. it'll be a good way for people who have been shy to do it beforehand to try to get in on it. So, super excited about that. Yeah, and this can be a long-term goal, too. And yeah. with any of Thrall's um, shells, they always give you time. If you don't have it done by the due date, like we didn't for hours. <laughs> I will tour it any day I'm playing Sims. Whatever yeah. I'm doing in Sims, if you have a build of any of my shells, it could be the first shell I ever did. And I will still tour it, and I will still give you extra teas just for doing it as a thank you. And Thrall has plenty of shells up on their gallery, Sweet Pea. So, if you're ever Easy looking ones for... And hard ones and yeah. everything in between. Yeah, I'm... If you're ever looking for inspiration or just, you know, something basic to start off with to help you out a bit. It's a strudel doodle. Hello, hey. hello, hello, Jess. Welcome How are you? In. How are you? But yeah, so that's probably pretty much what I'm gonna do for today. As I said, today is gonna be a short stream. More than anything just because I am still recovering. I did have surgery on Monday. So yesterday was pretty hellish in the pain registers. I'm doing really well, Strudel. I'm healing up. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm not sitting there going, oh god, when's my next pain met pain dose? Um Which so was I, yesterday. That was yesterday. That was all day. It was like, okay, how long do I have to nap before I can take the next pain medication? Yeah. Because it was just so much pain. And I had a whole list of things I would would have liked to get done yesterday. Like, I wanted to do some writing. And it was like, well, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then I have six weeks of recovery before they can even schedule me for the next surgery. And that one will probably be even more recovery time. So. Yeah, I think it's going to need to be. Yeah, because that one will actually have incisions and all the good stuff that goes with it. Yeah. And I'll be saying, no, you're not ready yet. No, you need to rest. <laughs> <laughs> you you take have... care of yourself, Thrall. <laughs> exactly. And uh, I am planning on streaming most of the day on my birthday on the 28th. Unless for something happens and I don't feel good I'm more than willing to split it up into smaller pieces but there is a vote on my discord in the announcement section um, to decide what I will be doing on my birthday stream now you're, you're literally good to know one I can see that yeah I've had so many people be like, you are so much fun when you're on pain medication. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just as sassy off pain medication. I just forget to temper <laughs> myself. <laughs> so I've had um, everybody is... going, you should stay, You should be on pain medication more often. I'm like, no, I should not. <laughs> I just the need to stop. The two places that you can vote on um, yes. Thrall's birthday stream activities... Um, they're in my Discord server as well in the Campfire Chat channel. Let me so. actually grab the uh, link to the actual thing on my website. That way they can go yes, straight there. Yes, that's a there. good one. Do, 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 do. There we go. And if you don't want to vote on Discord, that will be added into all of the other votes. This is just the first round of voting. So, um, we will be doing another round of voting after this. But, obviously, you need to vote to see what gets, what gets moved on. 
Um, so, starting <laughs> Sunday first, will first be the first boat next... I made. <laughs> what Skyrim? Skyrim. Yeah, I I knew Throw that. cheese. <laughs> Throw cheese. <laughs> Crowd control. <laughs> I've actually been very surprised at what people have been voting for. The things that I thought would get voted for are not the things that are getting voted for. So it could be very interesting. Oh, oh we'll Kev. definitely have fun. Kev! Hello, 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 dear. We Thank you so much. Yours. You gave us a wonderful shoots and ladders build. We love it so much. I'm going to turn it into a rental in one of my saves. Or yes. multiple saves. But we it's toyed beautiful. it at the beginning of stream. So you do not have to forward very far to get to it. And I am just about to find somebody to raid because obviously I am still recovering. Thank you for doing it, Kev. We really appreciate it. And it yeah. was absolutely Kev's signature, including the three lights next to the door. And All the prison toilet. <laughs> the prison toilet. We had an entire conversation about the prison toilet, so be prepared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your signature toilet. <laughs> no, one of our see. wonderful uh, community members, uh, Cripwalker, um, said that they were going to add tanks to all of your toilets. So <laughs> we let them know that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> hmm. You know what? Yeah. I think we may go visit my friend Shelly. Because she awesome. is doing... Let me make sure she hasn't been on for too long. Oh, she's been on for quite a while. She doesn't look like she's stopping anytime soon. But you know what? We're going to go say hi anyways. Um, oh, it's okay, Jess. Whenever you have it done, if Thrall is doing Sims mm -hmm. on that day, they will tour it for you. Absolutely. And you will still get your bonus tees for uh, doing a um, an entry. So. Yes. The, it doesn't matter which shell you do. If you go back and you do the first shell I ever did, I will still tour it for free. All you have to do is let me know and we'll do that. Um, Shelly is making Pelican Town in The Sims. And she is currently putting an owl in a birdcage. And it's absolutely amazing. So we're going to go say hi. Awesome. Let me get a raid started. And get my raid messages up. Again. Well, thank you so very much for the tours, Thrall. Yeah, thank you for, for the entries. Coming along with us. And again, if anybody finishes this and still isn't done, I will tour it the next time I'm playing Sims. So, it's good to see all of you. I will be back online tomorrow with some Sims at about 1 p.m. I don't know how long the stream will be. It will depend entirely on how well I'm feeling. But I do plan on playing some Sims tomorrow. Um, let me get the raid going. Shelly is a good friend of mine. She's another horse person, so she's good people. I got a useless fact. The lint in the bottom of your pocket has a name. It's called Nerr. Oh, okay. That's I'll Mr. never Nerd. remember that. <laughs> I will never remember to call it Nur. Nope. It's pocket Lint, crap. I can remember. <laughs> yes. <laughs> pocket fluff. <laughs> All right. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. Hi, Bruges. <laughs> so, I will see all of you guys later. Everybody have a really good evening. Take care of yourself. It's very important. And make sure you're taking time to, uh, just time for you. Because you're important. So we'll see you guys next time. And, um, I think the next time I'll be with Smokey is Friday morning. And we're going to be having a good time playing some ESO. So, I'll see you guys later this week. Love everybody. Bye! Bye!